MLG Columbus. I'm joined by my old friend and buddy Hastro. Hastro, how you doing, man? Not too bad. Just got a big win right there. We're back. We're back. From the team. Yeah, so the first game, your team was uh, not looking too hot. I think it's 99% your fault, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, it's, it's always like that. You can always blame me. Yeah, so blame Hastro for everything. Now, you've had every job in Call of Duty. You've been a, a caster, a coach, a, a player, obviously. What's sort of your favorite role to play in Call of Duty? Uh, you know... I don't know. I, I, I miss being a player, man, really, to be honest. So uh, I think that was the most fun I ever had in the scene. But um, I think being a team owner, too, is a lot of fun. And, I, you know, making moves with the team and trying to grow it and, and always trying to uh, please our fans, man. I mean, it feels good to do that and be able to make some decisions to be able to, I don't know, make your fans happy, I guess. Yeah, for sure. In my opinion, you're way better at everything else than you were as a player, so I would not go back to that for sure. Uh, so you're one of the best casters of, of all time in Call of Duty, in my opinion. How do you think you compare to uh, our boy Fwiz? Oh, uh, Fwiz is awesome, man. Uh, you know, I think what Fwiz lacks in game knowledge up there, he uh, brings to the table in, you know, just keeping, keeping everybody entertained, man. He's probably one of the most entertaining people I know. Uh, he's a really good friend, man. I love him to death, so can't, can't say anything bad about him. All right, so going into game three, prediction? Oh, we got this one. We got this one. Easy. This is easy. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, ha Hasro was my game knowledge, so. Yeah. He was the missing piece you're, of the puzzle. You're missing your half, and yeah, I can't yeah, really yeah, help yeah. you out too much in that aspect. <laughs> By the way, who is that red-bearded guy that they put on camera? I, I have there? absolutely no idea who that guy uh, is, to be honest He's trying with to you. get his digs in. I, and I love that Stro was rocking <laughs> a, a backwards hat, too. It took about 10 he's, years off him, so he's, he's a young buck again. You know, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, the I wear it backwards every once in a while when I try to feel young again, man. It, it works. I can't even wear hats. I okay. wish I could. Well, I got a weird shade head. Go, anyway, then. so back to Call of Duty. There's video games in this venue, yes. a brand new one on your main stage, $50,000 on the line. But before we get to the real matches, we are having some fun, fun. with the All-Star game. And we have game number three coming up next for us. Yep. It's going to be tied up 1-1. Karma and the boys dominated in game one. He and Skump are back for game number three. Clayster also tried to go big on Blitz, was getting shut down quite a bit by Merc and Crim6, who were just slaying everything in the middle. And then TP, the objective master, will probably be the bomb carrier for SND. On the Bravo squad, though, Crim6 is back. Parasite, the objective master that we saw on Blitz, will probably be doing some bomb action with Nade Shot there again as yep. well and Proofy is going to be the fourth gun in the game. All right, well, we're going to jump on board here. Little S&D, man. We're going to slow, slow the pace down. We had a domination. We had a blitz game. And now we're going into the good old classic search and destroy. Hastro had a ton of confidence for the Bravo squad. Again, Crim6, Parasite, Nade Shot, and Proofy going to be on your Bravo team there with Hastro coaching on Alpha. You've got Karma, Skump, Clayster, and TP. Let's jump on board with Karma. He put on a great show for us during that domination octane match and trying to do it again here. Yeah, now Karma was rocking a sniper. And it looks like he's got the overkill again here, Fwiz. Yeah, and, and you definitely want to have overkill if you're going to have Sniper out. So he's got that bad boy out and again trying to get some long shots. But he, he's a crack shot, man. I saw I mean, he was doing, pulling off some quick scopes on that domination game. Woo, there it is. Now, I got a lot of feedback on Twitter. People yep. wanted to see the kill feed. So we're going to try and so, show it yeah. to you as much as possible. But I also need to bring up that scoreboard so we can swap yeah, the new, players. The new broadcaster mode, you have, when the scoreboard is up, that's how you select each player to watch and move amongst those players. So you, it, it takes away the kill feed. So we did get, I got some very nicely worded tweets. No yeah, the nicest people all. on the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, they yelled at me. So we're going to show this kill feed a little bit more, brother. Yeah, and speaking of kill feeds, here's one for you. It is going to be the final kill cam. TP. not only does he plant, he Ooh. shoots people in the belly. Yeah, he does. And TP again, we saw how dominant he was in that first game. Number one, bringing it over to Search and Destroy. And the Alpha squad off to a good start. Going to take the lead 1-0 here on Search and Destroy on Sovereign. All right, so I think uh, Parasite and the boys will be attacking. And let's see what they're up to as we take a look at the mini-map at the start. The push is going to be going left as they're definitely going to be targeting a B push here, Fwiz. And uh, who do you think is the objective player to watch on this lineup? Yeah, you know, it's like, again, I think they're, they're going to kind of like pass the ball around a little bit. And I think that's the fun thing about All-Star. Like, you can play different roles. I don't think anybody's got to lock one in. You know, it, it, who knows? They'll pass it around. You know, Nate Shot would make sense kind of 
to, to be somebody that's playing the objective role as well. So I don't think they'll select one. Somebody's, somebody's like, I'm going to grab the bomb. OK, but it's Merc that's got it this time around. Yeah, Merc is going to try and put it down. All three just fell for the Alpha Squad. It's all up to Karma. As the Ooh. bomb goes down, he does get the kill on Merc. Was the bomb planted? It looks like it has been. 38 seconds before that bad boy blows up. And Karma is only going to get one before going down. He did get two more kills in this round to put himself at four and one. It just wasn't enough. Yeah, and that like right there, there's not really a good spot around that bomb. That certainly isn't it. Showed he was exposed, but he didn't have a lot of options at his disposal. So you've got the Bravo team that answers right back, puts one on the board, and we're tied up 1-1. Parasite did a lot of the damage in this one for the Bravo squad. He's sitting at three and one, and as they're on defense, I want to see what Parasite is up to. Let's take a look at him as he is going to be pushing out across the right side of the map. As you can see, his teammates all going towards the A to defend. Parasite is going to be waiting for the attackers in the control room. On board with Parasite here, hanging out. He knows he's about to see some confrontation as the boys are all there on the Alpha team. And now he's going to get a little knee slide out hey of there. So just hanging out on board with Parasite, just watching that beat bomb. You've got the Alpha team playing this one a little bit slower. They're not, they're not right jumping out the gates. They're trying to make a move into the beat bomb site. But again, doing it very slowly as we jump on board with Skump here. And Skump, he is going to be looking to slay the way, lead the bomb carrier. You can see him on the minimap. He is that white arrow, the bomb directly behind him. And Skump, he is going to hear some fire. Players are stacked up on top of each other right now. And let's go over to uh, Clayster, excuse me, as it looks like Clay is going to be doing his best to go pick up that bomb, but there are two players defending it. And on board with Clay here again. It's a 2v1 now. Let's see if he can pick uh -oh. up that one. Let's go. Krim versus Clayster, this the teammates from Complexity. 13 seconds left on the clock. He's going for the kill. His opponent all the way over at A, though, and he is going to have just enough time to get this bomb down. It takes five seconds to plant. Seven seconds were on the clock when he went to start it. And there he goes. One second left, 42 seconds before it detonates. And he is going to be hunting for his teammate, Krim6, who needs oh. to get the defuse. There's the oh. spot, and there is the kill. Nice execution. So back and forth we go with these two squads. This time it's going to be Clayster for the Alpha squad that takes out his teammate, Krim6, to end the round and pick up the round win. So Alpha up 2-1 here against the Bravo squad back and forth now. Will Bravo answer back like they did last time? Krim doesn't even look mad, man. Uh, Krim looks like Krim, man. He's like, That's no emotions. Good. That's, good, I don't know if he's all happy, good. sad. I, I can't have he's a He's thinking tell. about okay. dolphins right now. You would never Pro know. Probably. Karma back on your screen at the moment. And let's see what he is up to at the start. He's got the sniper looking down the long haul through the mid. And he's going to try and go up top, climbing the ladder. And look at these angles Karma's going for. It. Climbing machinery, he's going for a ride. Bet you didn't even know you could do this, Wiz. I, uh, I, I, I've taken a ride on here before, but I will tell you it is not as elegant as Karma's making it look. <laughs> well, TP is going to get your kill cam. I missed all the action while we were watching Karma take a ride. And he is going to pick up the final two in that round. The score, three to one in favor of the Ghost Squad. TP and friends leading the way here for Alpha. And I'm going to be honest with you. I got to figure out how to. We got the field of the field of view is. I have no idea how to change it because the broadcast mode just go out. So we got to change that field it's of view. It's we'll all good. That's all good. We're we're super zoomed in. We're really on a on a, a detail level very high. So we do. We'll get that all sorted out in a minute here. I like to zoom in. This is, yeah, the, the, feels, the field of view is great. Woo! Hey, you want to see something cool about show, the new broadcast mode? Show it to me. Oh! oh we going back button. in first person. Yep. You want to see it again? Do it one more time. Hey, have you guys done this yet? Oh, there's TP Look at that. Look at me. I am a flying camera right now, Honestly, and I'm going to watch TP dominate. I actually kind of like this, you yeah, know, be, to, to watch you. Oh, oh that was TV. sweet. Hey, well, now Merc. we're going to see him first person do it to Merc. To the right team, we saw Look, him if do we, it. Look, if we actually, as casters, pick up any kind of skill set in this game, it will be moving around and doing more uh, fun things. I can't Spectre wait, Road. man. With the new broadcast mode and the fly cams, like that's something they added in here. And by the end of next year, we are going to have that art form perfected. For the moment, though, it's a slightly sloppy. And Scumpy is going to be the last one. He will be gunned down. Having a rough one, just getting shut out at one and four. On the other side, it's going to be Parasite, the only player positive for the moment for Bravo. And Krim6 getting his third kill with that shot with the Vector. 
Scump struggling, one and four, got, trying to get something going, a rhythm for his team here. However, TP, Clayster, and Karma all positive or even. You've got two plants at the hands of TP and Clayster, so that squad is looking pretty good. Again, very close game, three to two here, and we are off to the races here on the next round. Yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, third person Merc for a little bit. Oh, wow. Hey, third person Merc, let's go first person Merc, all right. Crim6 is gonna be the bomb carrier, that's what I wanted to do, and we are gonna see what these guys can do with it. Krim, he's gonna be pushing, Merc's really gonna watch him, and this was the deadly duo that really just went huge. Actually, Merc has been replaced in this game. That's Proofy playing underneath the Merc tag. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry <laughs> Proof. Yeah. Merc's like, yeah, I'm in the crowd, yeah. act being awesome. And gets taken out there. I'm assuming yeah, that was gonna be Karma that drew first blood with a sniper rifle. So we're gonna jump in the eyes of Proofy here. Two Rocking more out. kills for Merc. Blue Squad. Yep, absolutely. And Scumpy answers back, so here's your scoreboard. Just Merc and Nade Shot left alive. That's Proof and Nade Shot. Clayster and Scumpy up top. And there is another kill being scored. That one is going to leave Nade Shot all by himself. He's a search and destroy superhero. Let's see what he can do. Yes, he is. He's been always has been a really good search and destroy since watching him in Call of Duty 4. It's always been his strength. And he's going to get that bomb down. He's in a 2v1 situation. And let's see how he's able to kind of pull through this one. The bomb downs are going to help out a lot. Now he's just going to roll around, see if he can. And he, I think he did catch somebody uh -oh. there. But he's confronted, picks nice. up a kill on Scum. Nate shot in a 1v1, has to backpedal back towards the A bomb site to see anyone to abuse him. Oh! Sees another one. And Nate shot goes big for his squad, tying it up there for the Bravo team. 3 3. Let's take a look at the round ending kill no cam. Big deal. Nade shot just making it happen as he's able to take out Clayster and tie up this game. Nice play out of your boy right there. I like it. He gets a 2v1 clutch, takes a sip of his water, no yep. smile. No smile, that's, no smile. That's regular. Yep. Hey, it's the, three, the road three. is long. He knows he's got to do more than just win that round, but nice play out of Nate shot to tie it up here, and he, now he's 6-4 and four with a plant for his squad. I think we got to start off with the man. Yeah, what do I you think, think that makes a lot of sense, man. That All makes right. a lot of sense. Nate shot on your screen, going back to that MTAR. Also, ho, oh, Optic fans, you like this one? No, he can snipe too. He can snipe, no doubt about it. So let's see if he's able to pick something out. He does have overkill on, so he's going to have another weapon here. As now he's going to make a little bit more of a push. Doesn't see anybody crossing out, so he kind of has a little bit of confidence that he's going to be okay with yeah, this I think route. he's going to flank. This Nate, is what Nate shot yes, used to he, do on standoff all the time back in Black Ops 2. Nate shot is, is a high, high risk, high reward player sometimes in Search and Destroy. And when, it, when he's able to execute these flanks that doesn't get taken, out early, they end up being wildly beneficial for his team. Now, he did draw back a little bit, uh, and, and instead of moving all the way around flanking, he did come back to his team as they're making moves around the B-bomb site. Proofy up top, playing underneath Merc's tag and making him look good again. Picks up one. There's going to be just Scumpy versus Nade Shot and Proof left alive. Let's jump on board with Scump from the Alpha team. Can he get a 2v1? I, I, let's see if he can do it in the name of Optic. He's actually it's, uh, now is in a 1v1 situation. Skump versus Nade Shot. Going to be battling this one out here between the two Optic boys. Let's see who's able to pull this one out. Nade Shot again by himself is able to come up. Huge last round. Oh! And this time it's going to be Skump that takes out Nade Shot. Actually, he took out Proofy there. Nade oh, Shot right. will survive. He's going to stay 7 and 5. But that is going to be Skumpy's. Sixth kill. Now, remember when I told you Scuffy was one and four and struggling? Yes. He has turned it on. Six and five now. And the score is going to be four, three as we get into the next one. Who you want to watch here? Who's got the high? I, I kind of want to stay on with Nate Shot. Stay on. I'm a little biased. Stay on with Nate in the yeah, Bravo that's squad. my boy, but I do want to watch him because he's doing great there. I mean, he, he did just die at the hands of uh, whoever's playing Scump. I, that just took him out there. So let's see what he's able to do again. Sniper rifle out. That's what I like to see. Going to see if he can pick anybody off or catch anybody out here. Starting to move up this A side. And this is great play by them. They're making a really good push here in A. Nobody's popped out. Parasite going to move in with this bomb as we jump on board with him. Cooking a nade to see if he can pick up anybody back there. I imagine the Bravo team at this point realizes it's all going down at A. Parasite waiting to put that bomb down. I'm surprised he didn't get down a little bit quicker with all the reinforcements he has. Crim6 is going to be taken out. Oh. Skump dies as well. So it is a three. I'm sorry, that was Nate shot. It's a 2v4 situation. It looks like Nate is officially dead now. His bomb too. is planted. And Parasite working with Proofy. The last two left alive. Up against three opponents. Keep, Karma, Clay all going at it. 
Down goes our friend, and it's all up to Proofy. Oh. What can he do with 30 seconds left on the clock? He's got to keep it alive. Picks up Karma, but won't be able to survive much longer as Clayster and TP will come in. And we're going to see Clayster with the defuse. Solid plays Solid all plays. around. Solid plays all around. And look at that scoreboard. So tight. Yeah. Five to three. Everybody's kind of like, you know, as far as kills, it looks like a lot of the you know, same kills, and everybody's, everybody's doing pretty well. By the way, I do think Scope officially got that 2v1. It just didn't register on our scoreboard. So, yeah, I, I, so Nate shot with a 2v1, yeah. Scope with a 2v1. He was it scored that out was five a 2v1. to three. Yeah, it was. It ended up going down to a 1v1, but it did start, I do believe, at a 2v1. I think you're right there. All right, so here we go. We're going to jump on board with the new bomb carrier. Let's see the action as it looks like TP wants to move this one aggressively to B. The Bravo squad, they need to win three straight. This could be the final blow of the All-Star game if our Alpha roster is able to finish it. And it looks like Karma says, follow me. I got you, Teep. We're going up through the war room. And Karma on board with him as they're holding it down here on the B side. And they moved in quickly. Karma's Ooh. gonna get taken out there. So now it's just, I believe, TP and Clayster up for the squad, the Bravo, or I'm sorry, Alpha squad here against Nade Shot and Proofy on the Bravo. So a nice 2v2 here set up. We're going to switch on board with Nade Shot again. He's been rocking out with the L115 here to see if he can pick off anybody. And he's just slowly trying to hunt somebody down and see if he can grab him up. And then he's got the MTAR in his back pocket as well. We're going back to the bomb carrier as TP is going to find the defenders. That was Nade Shot up top. Last one alive is going to be Proof. And this could be the final oh. blow, but no, Proof is going to stay alive. Oh. Can he secure this for Bravo? 15 seconds left on the clock, and Kleister's going to get him. That's it. So there you have it. It's Alpha that pulls out the all-star matchup. What a great series here, an amazing all-star matchup between these two teams. As you can see, the complexity squad's all smiles. What a great matchup. Yeah, give it up for the all-stars, guys. It was great to see all these players stick together and play some fun matches. We got some, it's a big, uh, Winners bracket or championship bracket matches coming up, don't we? We got huge matches throughout the rest of the night. Caliber versus Epsilon, FaZe versus TCM, Colebra Fuse going up against Soar, and Envy versus Curse New York. All that is still to come right here on MLG.TV. But first, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your all stars. Man, the Call of Duty cut. You guys are some noobs out there. Yeah, make this, some noise. This Look Columbus at you. crowd is like really a, weak. A bunch of yeah, you're all quiet. You're sitting there. Quit being nerds. And we start need to get cheering. some Dr. Pepper in these people. Yeah, we'll go to goodness. a quick commercial break when we come fight back. All of you. The action kicks off for real. Caliber taking on Epsilon from the UK.